Hello YouTube. This is a 46,200 mAh power bank. This supports 65 watt USB-C power delivery charging. This is a 1X player portable gaming PC. This is a USB-C power delivery charge cable with a built-in watt meter. We can see that the can you even call this a power bank? Okay, this brick is supplying 60 watts of battery charge to the One X player, so it is performing up to the 65 watt spec of the US, USB power delivery. This is an Acer Spin Tree laptop, which also supports. 60 watt USB USB PD charging. And we can see that it is also going up to about 60 watts. So then the, it basically is drawing a high high charge current from the battery brick. This is a 72,000 power unit, portable power unit. It supports USB-C 65 watt power delivery charging. And we can see it is also pushing up to 60. So, yep, the high current is definitely there. Okay, now let's try to charge the One X player with this uh, power delivery method. And I'm going to plug it in. And okay, you can see that it's stuck at 15 watts so we know that this thing this power brick is capable of delivering 65 60 watts because it was charging the laptop with that but notice how the one x player doesn't want to take 60 watts from this uh from this uh bad power bank so whatever it is the two chips are different or something internally and the device just doesn't feel like taking the full 60 watts from it, even though it's a bigger battery bank than the one previously. This is a 100 watt GAN USB-C charger. This supports USB-C power delivery of up to 65 watts. So this brick has a AC slot socket in it so I'm just gonna take this wall mark I'm gonna plug it in and okay we're up to 60 watts again so the wall mark will provide 60 watts Let's try the laptop. Oh look, it is also charging at about 60 watts. So the conclusion here is USB power delivery is weird. There doesn't seem to be any real standardization between the different 
power banks and just because they say that they can deliver up to a certain wattage of power doesn't mean that the doesn't mean that it will provide the full wattage to your laptop to your devices so it's really really troublesome okay it's weird usb power delivery weird even though it's such a good idea but things just don't seem to work out that well so if you're thinking like okay i want something that can i can bring around and charge all my devices portably through usb power delivery the best thing isn't a isn't just a big power bank the best thing to ch charge your usb c usb c power delivery device is actually a an ac wall wire, which these seem to be able to deliver that high capacity charging to the devices uh, regardless of whatever devices there doesn't seem to be anything um uh, most of the USB-C devices I have can do a full charge from this wall wire. So now you have to ask yourself, should I just get a power bank that has an AC slot, AC socket if I want to charge my USB-C devices, all of them correctly? So one of the best forms for a USB power delivery battery bank is actually this. A tower of power. And there we go. 60, 60 watts. No problems. Yeah, and this is Marauders, and this is why USB-C power delivery is weird.